and for the class A this one it is 25 percent so we we want to increase the efficiency increase the efficiency and okay we want to increase the efficiency this is the first thing and you remember for class A and the class B if the input frequency equal 100 the output frequency equals huh? okay no problem they have the same frequency okay the input frequency and output frequency are exactly the same okay in class C we can uh, in a class C, we can change the frequency. We can change the frequency. Okay? We will see how. Okay? And the efficiency of this amplifier is about 100%. Why? Because we let the amplifier be turned on for just very short duration. Okay? Very short duration, we turn it on. Okay? And then the power dissipated is very low, okay? We will see how it works. It works as follows. If you look here, we have minus VBB, right? We have minus VBB, and we have a capacitor, okay? So, the voltage here must be how much? What is the value of voltage here? To make this transistor on, what is the value from here to here, to gram? <coughs> huh? Okay, no problem. It is 0 0.7 because we want this one to be on. Okay, we want from here to here to be 0 0.7. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. So when the input when the input is is equals to minus VBB uh, 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 VBB plus the point seven, okay, this uh, this voltage the, the the voltage the biasing voltage there is something like this. We have resistance here or not? Not this. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have resistor here and minus positive right <coughs> so simply take this one and put it here okay so we will have VBB plus minus and plus minus V B E and we have a capacitor and the input fault. Right? Right. In this case what happens? In this case if the input uh, voltage is less than these two values plus then the, the transistor will be off, right? Because this one, this uh, uh, junction should be forward biased okay so my input should be larger than this one okay to make it conduct so if it is larger in this case if the input is VBB plus VBE in this duration or larger we have conduction it conducts okay and I, I, I see in this case will be some factor multiplied by IB Right? So it would be this one. Fine? Fine? Any question about this one? Any question, guys? No? Fine? Okay, good. So, uh, till now, till now, until now, uh, if the input we have current, the output will have this current, right? Exactly same. What is the efficiency in this case? 
What is the efficiency? What is the efficiency in this case? When we say efficiency, it means what? Power efficiency means what? Means how much I give power and I how much I give I get at the output, right? <coughs> so what is the output uh, power? The output power equals hmm. right. It equals IC multiplied by RC, right? This is the output power. Right? Right? And the input power equals what? Equals? Huh? Equal? Equals same IC. This power, the output power. The input power equals the output power plus something I lose. Right? Right? The output power plus something I lose equals the input power. So what is the something I lose? What is it? Here. Right? So I can find this one. I find the efficiency. The, the, the class is very basic. Okay? Electronics one is very, very basic. <coughs> Just to make the mind work. What is input? What is output? It's like... Uh, School class, right? It's like similar to school class. In in Palestine, in, in my country, they teach this one at school. <coughs> they teach this one at school. In our new books, they teach this one at school. Okay? Not kidding. Okay, serious. And you know, Korea is more developed, much more developed than Palestine. But we, we have this one at school. <coughs> at school. Okay, we have this one at school. We have programming languages at school. We have IT about why system communication systems at school. At high school, okay, not elementary or that. At high school, we have all this stuff. So this one should be just very easy for you. <coughs> okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so what is this one? What is this? The green one? <coughs> what we what we call it? Load line, right? DC or AC? AC, right? What is the difference between AC and DC? Load lines. <coughs> huh? Slope, right? Uh, okay, I, I I take it. It's okay, but uh, not 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 accurate. <coughs> huh? Who, who is speaking? I see value. I see value. Maybe different what? Different amplifier. It can be same. Like in this example. In this example, DC load line and AC load line are exactly the same. Exactly. That's why they did not plug two. Why? Because moving from the AC to DC, what happens? What happens? I don't lose anything from AC to DC. No resistance shut, no resistance parallel, nothing. Right? <coughs> I just have this one connected and this one ground. I don't lose any equipment. Right? All the resistance is here. Everything is here. So DC load line and AC load line are exactly the same. Okay? That's why in the homework I asked you loaded system and unloaded, uh, sorry, loaded amplifier means with load and without load. So you check that. Okay, fine, fine, we are fine, this, here? Okay. So operation, the input peak must 
must exceed VBB plus VBE, right? As I said here, this one plus this one to make the amplifier on, right? Mm -hmm. For entire AC load line operation, if I want, this one is the AC load line, right? So if I want to work for the all the range, what I should do? I should make this point <coughs> where this point must be where this this point must be this point, right? 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 Oh yeah. Right? It is right or not? Not or yes? Not. Okay. This point is what? Corresponding to it, this point in IC. Right? IC equals zero. It means what? It means VCE is maximum. Which is really this one. VCE is maximum value in the peak, I mean. Okay? The maximum value in the minus part, but it is maximum value, the peak. <coughs> if we have, I have IC something like that, IC, and VCE is something like that. This one is what? Maximum or minimum? It is the peak, minus peak, right? It is means that it is the maximum value, but in the negative direction, okay? Mm. So it is this one, okay? So it means that my, my operating point, my operation point should be near the cutoff, near the saturation, sorry, near the saturation, near the zero, okay? Near this, okay? Fine? Fine? <coughs> Last time, when we had the, the, the peak here, we, we had the quiescent point, the Q point, in the case of B amplifier, it's here, right? The DC load line, the Q point. Here we want the operation to be at this point. At this point, okay? And you plot the two feet. Okay, till now it is just normal amplifier, right? It is very normal amplifier. Normal amplifier. So how to make it not normal or anormal? How to make it a normal one? <coughs> like this. No, not like this. Not like this. Okay, like this, but <laughs> let's calculate the power first, okay? So we said that we make uh, IC is ideally IC saturation and VCEE is VCE saturation. It means we are here, okay? Okay. Then, uh, what is the ma maximum power dissipation? <coughs> Equals, I, uh, as I told you, it is IC saturation multiplied by, because the current equals what? IC saturation, okay. Uh, this is the maximum one. Equal IC saturation multiplied by VCE saturation. Right? Right? This one in the case of, if we are here, VCE saturation equals what? VCE saturation is very, very small, okay? So the power dissipated is very, very small. Okay? The very, very, very small. So the average power dissipation over the period T, over the period T from here till here, okay, is T on is this one. <coughs> okay? Over T multiplied by this one. Okay, the average value. This approximately, okay? Not ex not exactly, but approximately. Is it fine? Uh, in that case, we just consider that this one is a square. Okay, square. And we take the 
the maximum value. Okay, is it fine? This one is what? Do you know what does it mean? This one? Did you hear about pulse width modulation? Pulse width modulation. <coughs> PWM. No? Did you study microprocessor? Control. <coughs> Control, did you study? No? Mm. Huh? Who, uh, who last time showed me about the diode? Made the presentation about uh, high intensity diode. Who did that? Who? No, you okay, that's fine. <laughs> uh, actually, for the diodes, the diode, we have uh, the new systems, the new systems, if you are at home and you want to watch TV, so you make the light dimming, right? <coughs> dimming light. You reduce the light. Okay? Right? You understand? You make the light lower intensity. How? How to make it lower? By controlling T on. Make T on more, it will make more light. If it is smaller, it will make smaller light. Okay? This is the, the P, PWM, pulse width modulation. Okay? Mm. How much power I want to give to the diode? Okay? How much? I can control it using this one. Okay? Fine? Fine? You ask, if you don't know about this one, you ask uh, Kunho. Huang Kunho. Okay? He's working on this one for the final project. But he's making more complex stuff. Okay? Uh, yeah, much more complex than this one. <laughs> This one is easy, but he works on some uh, uh, diode. He want to make a new uh, uh, spot, like uh, light, this one, but spare. And he uses some, uh, some uh, signal, like this one. And then he us uses a driver to give power. <coughs> and he connects the high intensity LEDs and something like that. This is part of his approach. Okay, so we have this one, the power which is really the average value, the average over period T. Okay. So let's consider this circuit, okay? Let's consider this one. When this, uh, 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 the input is larger than VBB plus 0.7, this circuit is on, right? What happens? There is current here, right? And then the input off, right? This, like this one, right? It is will be on for small duration, then <coughs> off, right? <coughs> so imagine that this one is off now. It is on, there was a current here, then this one is off. What happens to the current here? First, first stuff. The capacitor starts as short circuit or open circuit? Short circuit. It is short circuit, right? And the inductor starts as open circuit. <coughs> this you should remember in your mind, okay? Okay? In, the, in AC analysis, okay, we are talking about AC. So this one starts short and this open, so the capacitor will charge. Okay? Why the, the, why the inductor starts as open circuit? Why? Why? Anybody knows? This is Im much more important than making it circuits and checking and something like that. You must understand the theory. If you don't understand the theory, you did not study engineering. Okay? Why the, the inductor? It starts as open circuit. Why? But it is wire, right? The inductor is what? Wire. I take a wire, I make round, right? And it is wire. Why it starts as uh, uh, 
uh, as uh, uh, open circuit. Why? It Exactly. So it keeps not flow current. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Very good. Excellent. That when the current tries to go in the inductor, there is a flux opposite direction of the current. So it makes high resistance to the current at the beginning. Okay, at the beginning. It makes very strong resistance to the current. So the current cannot go. When it will go? When it breaks this resistance. Okay, this flux which is generated. Okay. In that case, all the current will go through the, the capacitor, right? The capacitor. And go here. Then this one is, will be off. Means open circuit. So what happens? This one will discharge in the inductor. Okay? And then the inductor will discharge in the capacitor. Capacitor will discharge in inductor. Inductor in capacitor. So it will make something sinusoidal like this one. Okay? In this case, if you take this one output and this is minus positive, okay? So the output will be going down because the capacitor is having the, the voltage. Then it will go to the inductor. Go. So this one will be sinusoidal, right? Charge, discharge, charge, discharge. Okay? Okay? Fine? Fine? Mm. So the output will be something like this. Right? And I can control. I can control the charge, discharge. Right? Using what? L and C. So the, I can control the output frequency. Using L and C, the values of L and C. Because the output frequency will be 1 over 2 pi square root LC. Okay? So if I make, I want some frequency double, <coughs> double the, the input frequency, I can adjust that. Okay? Fine? Fine, everybody? Fine? Okay. This is what I explained uh, before that we have charging, discharging, charging, discharging. And first, uh, 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 first, which you start to charge is the capacitor, okay? Because the capacitor starts as open, as short circuit, okay? So it charges, then the transistor will be off. Why? Because of this pulse, okay? Because, because the, ampo the, the input is less than VBB plus 0.7, okay? Because it is less, so the transistor will be off, right? And it will be this signal which I gave, it will be charging, discharging in the capacitor and the inductor. Okay? Fine? So I can adjust what is the frequency of a charging, discharging. Okay, this is what, wha what I explained. <coughs> I'm sorry, in, the, in your presentation file, I said does decay to zero, but you should say not. Okay. So, in, in normal case, in normal case, if I make, if I give a signal to this circuit, okay, there will be small resistance inside. Must be small resistance, right? Something here parallel with this one. There is, there will be some resistance in the circuit. So I give a pulse, this voltage, right? A charge here and discharge here. Not all the value will be charged and discharged. Some, some value of the voltage will be lost in resistance or in anything, okay? So normally, the voltage, if we cut the input, we just give a pulse and then cut. If we cut it, it will be something like this, okay? A charge, discharge, and we lose something charge, discharge, we lose something here in the voltage. So it will be going decaying to zero. But what happens? Actually, we don't let it decay to zero. Why? Because at each time T, we give another pulse. The input will give another pulse. The input will give another pulse. So the value will be maintained, constant. Approximately. Okay? Approximately. So if we want, uh, for example, 
if R to be 2 if in double the input form we can select L, L and C so that the value is double so the input frequency is this one and the output frequency is this one so we make like a mixer right no not mixer it is the frequency multiplier frequency multiplier so we multiply by 2 3 something like that okay fine And so this circuit you can use in your applications, right? In your applications, you can use this one, right? In your applications, in your circuits. If you have a problem, think what you studied, from what you studied, what you can use. This one is fantastic. Fantastic, this one. You can make <coughs> AM, AM modulation using this one, or FM modulation using this one, or... RFID, you know RFID? Our tags. Our tag, this one, is based on the sinusoid. This one, it has power? Where is the power? Where is the power? This one, it has, it has memory to read the ID. ID is saved inside memory and something like that. So how can it work? From where we get power to turn it on? <coughs> okay? It is the device here. The device, the reader, will send some signal to here. We call it continuous wave. We are out or in? Okay, it's something like this one, with certain frequency. So this one will make <coughs> some kind of back scattering. I take the signal, I use it, and I transmit using this power. I receive it from there. Okay, so it is wireless transmission of power. Okay, this is easy application of that. And believe me. All of the nice applications are very easy. All the good applications are very, very easy. The, the <coughs> initial idea is very, very easy. Too easy. Okay? All the amazing achievements in, uh, in our major, in my major, in my major in, in communication is <coughs> very, very easy idea. But they understand the theory. Okay? They understand the theory. So if they understand the theory, to make a new ideas become possible. Possible. Okay. So if we want to the output, we, if we want to calculate the the powers and find the ratios, so we find the output voltage has a span of approximately two VCC. Okay. The output. This one. From here to here. Peak to peak is 2 VCC. 2 VCC. Why? Why 2 VCC? Why? Huh? Why 2 VCC? Am I saying correctly or wrong? Why? Okay. Because we said before that this point. V saturation is very small, okay? So this value is VCC, okay? The charging value. So the, the capacitor, uh, uh, capacitor inductor, the oscillation will be from VCC to minus VCC. So we have two VCC. And we don't consider the small loss in the, in the voltage value, okay? Mm. So we find the RMS value, so it is 0 0.707 VCC square over RC, RC small letter, okay? And the total input power equal this one plus BD average, the power I lose in the input, okay? So BD average equal what? Equal this one. And T on is very small, okay? T on over T is very, very small, multiplied by this one. 
So the efficiency equal P out over PT, which equal P out over P out and BD average. PD average is in the milliwatt, milliwatt. And the P out is very high. VCC, you multiply VCC over RC, it is really high. It's maybe 100 times of this. So the efficiency is close to one, approximately 100 percent efficiency. All the power I give is going to the output. I don't lose anything. Okay? Fine? Fine? What is the voltage gain? <coughs> what is the voltage gain? <coughs> Same as? <coughs> One? One? No, it's not. <coughs> Actually, we don't really care about the voltage gain, right? I told you, these are power amplifiers. We don't really care much about the voltage gain. My application is not related to the voltage gain, okay? It's not related. This amplifier, this kind of amplifier, I use it to generate a sine wave huh, with very high efficiency. This one, right? Very easy circuit to generate a cosine or sine wave with any frequency I want, right? And I don't lose any power. This is the circuit. So it is really amplifier. Depends on how you see it, okay? Depends on how you see it, right? Mm. Fine. Okay. Any any question, guys? Any question? It's okay. Mm. So we have this cell is approximately one hundred percent. Okay, approximately. And uh, yeah. Actually, the gain, the gain. If you want to see the gain, you cannot touch it. You cannot see the gain. The voltage gain. How? And why? Do I need to know what is the voltage gain? I don't care. Really? I don't care. Okay? Even if the input is not... Even if the input is not sine wave. I don't want cosine wave. I have the input a triangular wave. Or rectangular wave. This one is pulse width modulation. If you have pulse width modulation with some period, I have output frequency cosine. This is very frequent application in, uh, in electronics. Okay? I have some pulse. You give to the, your controller a pulse, and the output is cosine wave. And uh, the frequency of this cosine wave is related to the, to, the pulse, to the duty cycle of this one. This is a different application, right? Mm. This one is approximate. So we make a, a small example for these values. We find P out and the efficiency equals what? P out over P out plus BD average, which equals 2.88 watt over these guys, and it approximately equals one, okay? So the input, the input signal is for what? I use it for what? For triggering, just give a trigger. Just give me a trigger by the input. And then I generate using the other guys. I generate the signal output using these guys. Okay? Fine? Okay. Just give me the trigger. Mm, okay, we're done with this one. Okay, this is another idea that we don't use a voltage source here. Okay? We, we call it a clamping circuit, clamping bias. Okay. So what happens here? The capacitor will charge through this resistance, this uh, diode, right? Because the resistance here is very, very small compared to this one. So it will uh, discharge via this one and charge it there. So 
The circuit is exactly the same as before, but here the duration of operation is almost zero. The duration here is very, very small duration. So the efficiency is really 100%. Person, okay? yeah. If you are interested in these numbers, you can see. Okay? Any questions?